In other news, technology has been adopted to ease the burden of soaring feed costs for livestock producers here in the country. Our Chong Unju explains. This farm cultivates oyster mushrooms. Once grown and harvested in plastic barrels, the stems are used as compost or thrown away. A Korean cow farm nearby, however, has started to use the stems as feed as they are rich in nutrients. Mushroom stems are similar to cattle feed in a lot of ways, so we are shipping them out to be used as either compost or feed. Based on this knowledge, researchers at South Korea's Rural Development Administration have developed a manufacturing technique for making what's called total mixed ration, a method of feeding dairy cattle. Total mixed ration manufacturing involves using waste agricultural byproducts to make high-quality feed as they are the best raw materials to use. Besides mushroom stems, dried grain from beer brewers, and the leftover pulp of mandarin juice or soy pulp are also used. Fiber is used as an energy source for cattle, and protein helps body and muscle grow. By using ingredients such as soy pulp, brewer's dried grain, and rice bran, the cost of feed is reduced. As a result of applying this technique, income per cow has more than doubled from 760,000 won to 1.58 million won. Feed costs have been reduced by more than 30 percent compared to before, and both meat quality and carcass weight have increased. By using agricultural byproducts to develop feed manufacturing techniques, farms in South Korea are seeing both an increase in profits and the quality of their livestock. Tong Eun-ju, Arirang News.